Hello guys, the RJB here and welcome to episode 17 of All The Mods 8. In today's episode, we get a handle on our power situation, it's not going good, and we go find the Snow Queen in the Twilight Forest. Hope you're ready. Okay, so we start today's episode over here in our uh, indoor lawn base, I guess. Uh, so between the episodes, I built this. It's made with uh, tinted glass, which is uh, um, witherproof. And the reason I did that is we're going to need a lot of wither stars. I think somewhere just under 2 million to make all 18 stars, if I math it correctly. May have not had. So uh, I've just been doing withers in here. And uh, I have this thing up to superior now. And uh, we need 36 kills to get to the next level. So anyone who knows anything about this, this is from Hostile Nor Networks. So I updated the pack to the newest version, and it added some new tabs. Mechanism Advanced is a big one. And it changed the mechanism tab, so the power armor or the armor thing is not over here yet anymore, and it has this. Anyway, though, it added this, which I knew about Hostile Nor Networks, but, you know, we hadn't gone over it, I don't believe yet. So basically what you do is you make this model thing, and you make this thing. And then you put the model thing inside this thing. Uh, well, you take the model thing and you click on a mob that you want to gain things from, like learn. And then you put it in here. And as you kill the mobs, it upgrades it. And then eventually you put it into um, this thing and then this thing. And it, it makes stars. Now the stars, basically. Um, another update is uh, I made a wither skelly farmer. And uh, we, got an, uh, we got some wither skeleton skulls. So I've just been using those and manually killing them to upgrade this. Next update is I've actually been putting nether star seeds in here. I've been slowly crafting them as I'm killing the withers and getting the things to make those. The nether star cruxes, these these withering souls. I've been um doing that. And so we got a little bit of those. We've got a whole bunch of that. Um I, the, I said we're gonna do the snow queen, so I believe we're gonna do a setup exactly like this, just on the other side of the farm. We're gonna make another one of these. Slide this over, have it on that side, have that on that side. And I'm actually going to pump these two essences and this, I guess, these essences too. I'm going to leave the seeds here into the ME system with uh, Ender Chest. That way that we can actually use them. Um, I think that's all the updates here. And we may, I made a, uh, where's it at? I made an angel ring, which just gives uh, creative flight. So I made the angel ring. It's made like that. And then that's made like that. Not just upgrade it so it uses power and not XP. So we have creative flight now instead of using the jetpack. It's a little slower, but that's okay. Um, coming over here to update you guys. In between episodes, I made a 256 mega storage crafting storage, which is what the uh farm over there in the basement why I made it those seeds so we could have these. So now we can do any crafting recipe that we want. And then I also accidentally. I uh, went ahead and made another thing. So I made the Master of Oblivion and I made the uh, Awakened Things and these. So we completed two more of the things. And I started making all the alloy blocks. So if we go alloy, because we're going to need 400 and something for the all 18 stars. So we're at 309. I stopped the auto crafting because we're out of power, which is why today's episode we're handling power. So I'm going to run back over here one more time. Because our melon farm are, is not keeping up because we're not making enough melons. And instead of making more melons, I'm just going to make a different power source. So we're at 26.88G and it's going down because the uh, quarry is running. I've also upgraded this. So if I go into free cam, I put, there's nine of those things in there now. So it can hold, uh, what, like 14.4 trillion, which is not an incredibly high amount, but it's good enough for now. Uh, when we get the fusion reactor, we're probably going to want to put more in there, but that's a little way away. But uh, anyway, I taught this here system how to make the reactors from... Why is the blazing one behind the nitro one? Anyway, I taught it how to make these reactors. So you can see on the little tooltip, it says it makes 250k. Also, ignore the fact that we have this many of these two blocks. I, uh, I've been AFK. I got a time in a bottle, so I can just show you guys how much I AFK. I made this yesterday. 25 hours ago and i haven't closed the game since so you know electric bill is what it is so i got a lot of those and i also added all the uh modium so i set one up in the deep dark and i have those coming up here i have it filtered so they don't go out of the inner chest over there and they go out over here instead so we can just run through this doubling thing 
so we can go ahead and process it because that ore over there is so far behind uh this is so enough rambling let's get into what the goal of this episode is i want to make a couple of these reactors each reactor takes 36 pieces so if we go reactor each one takes 36 now what i want to do is be able to generate a million rf a tick also does queen thing we'll go over that in just a second so to make a million these each make 250 from my testing they're not constantly making 250,000 so i don't know if i'm doing it wrong or whatever they're making like 230 240,000 so i want to make five reactors basically or actually we'll go six because even numbers so let me uh math on my calculator real quick so we're gonna make six so 36 times six that is 216 so i guess let's just see if this can support that many or not support if we can craft that many uh somehow we can so let me start that see how if that's gonna take forever um let's see which one of these it went into it usually goes in one of these top ones for some reason up oh, yeah there it is uh it's gonna be making these things i do believe is what it's probably what it's doing uh yeah so it should be fast because i have five of these so it does like a million a tick but we might run out of power one last update well, actually there's two more updates <laughs> but uh, i added more of these because we ran out of storage for auto crafting so if i come up here um all these rows are new from this row to here are new as you can see i filled up everything else teaching it how to make all the stuff so that is you know it is what it is and obviously we can do the other side now one last thing for any keen-eyed people is you might see that we made an oblivion shard so that is this so i'm just gonna go over how to make this real quick since i had recorded this but i lost the footage because i'm a noob anyway so it has rows of oblivion how do you get these is when you kill the dragon in the end these things start spawning as the dragon is dying easy next the soul steel blocks so soul steel it, you can make the block like this you get compressed soul powder and a soul sand one times you light it on fire you throw an iron block on it that's how you can get it to start with now i realize you cannot downcraft these into ingots so if you want to make ingots you have to do it the same thing except for you just use regular soul power block and a soul sand and you throw an ingot and then you can get that however you can craft the ingots into a block but you cannot craft the block back into an ingot now you may say oh this is gonna take a long time so what you can do is you can get a bee a, a spirit bee and the bee drops the ingots and the dust from the uh the comb that they make gives you ingots and dust so the bee is pretty easy to make you get one of these uh soul crude things oh so you take and put a dust with the block quartz right and then you get that and then you do it with soul slate which is uh made by throwing deep slate into a thing and then you upgrade it one more tier to a soul crystal and then you kill a, a mob to bind it and then you i think you max it out but i'm not sure and uh so then you do the little ritual that it shows um right here and you get the b now the b for me was spawning at zero 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 no idea why uh I, it was before i updated the pack so i don't know if they fixed that but if i go over here to the b um it's in the attic and through my af king i already collected a bunch as you can see i had all the blocks that i needed so there that is and then you just take it and put it over here it gives you ingots and uh, that uh, the dust so that's how you do that also i added i moved my uh ae thing into here and added a key mine for it so that is to catch you guys up now there's the stuff that i was using right there and then the last piece of the oblivion shard is this which is called a world eye now i have everything obviously spyglass obsidian eyes in there. these bottle darkness you get a cork cork you get one of these a bottom and a cork and then you go to the end and you just click into this guy like just do 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 and it gives you bottle darkness now the thing that is the reason i haven't made all 18 of them is this so this is a ritual it's right here what you do is you take these and you go to a tree, for example, let's find like a regular tree. This tree right here, you click right there. Oh, the skeleton's shooting me. You break the tree, and when it decays, it gives you a leaf like that. 
And then you can turn this leaf into gold. And then what you do is you make a ritual. You basically draw like a, a Minecraft circle around, put a tree in the middle when the, and put the items that are shown here um, on the pedestals. And when the tree grows, it'll make this. And you gotta do that a bunch of times. So I haven't finished that yet, uh, specifically because gathering the leaves is not fun. So I have to do that between episodes and finish that up considering I started. I didn't, you know, I lost the recording, so it is what it is. Uh, so then I'll have all 18 of those once I make the world eyes. And then I gotta make the Patrick stars. And then the power is the issue. So let me see where this is at. We might have to cut. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I will cut and I'll come back when that's done and we'll set up the reactors to have them going automatically and have all the stuff for them. And then we'll go get the snow queen. Okay, guys, I'm back and uh, I have done the prep work and waited for the craft to finish. So we have all the reactors and hopefully everything else we need. Um, I went ahead and set up a second thing to make dry ice. That way, if this one's busy making these alloys or something, it doesn't, you know, wait. Because uh, dry ice is uh, going to be auto-requested. So I set up a second one. I went with nitro things, even though that's really uh, overkill because uh, it only needs 10k per dry ice. But, you know, whatever. And uh, I debated a little while where to put these. So I just decided to go down here. Um, obviously it's going to be bigger than this room is right now because, uh, this is the size of one. So I'm going to stretch it that way. It's going to be a long room, kind of like that room is, but, uh, that's how we're going to do it. So what I have is this is a ME requester and it's requesting dry ice right now. I just have it to keep 16 in stock. So if we go in here and we go dry ice, there's 16 and I taught this is how to make it and everything. And then this is just a requester terminal. Um, eventually down there and up here, we're going to cover the floor up once I get everything ran um but you like this has 16 channels this one only has eight because we haven't added the other eight things that's full because it has all the drawers but uh yeah eventually we'll cover this up but not for now um i just ran a cable at the bottom of this just a full 32 channels down there because i'm not sure how many we're gonna need but uh i'm gonna cover that up eventually so i just gonna have this terminal here and uh, we might put one upstairs at some point i am not sure and then I just went ahead and ran it over there and it's going to go down. Um, if we need more channels, I'll run a second one from the other side, like uh, from this side down. And then we'll do the same thing and just have it on that side, a second one. But uh, anyway, just to show what we're going to do. So how you place the reactor down is you just click the middle block. I tested that before I started because I had no idea. And then it just builds it for you like that. So it uh, places all the blocks. And there you go. That's a reactor. So if you click on it, you have four inputs, I think five inputs technically. So you'll have fluid, which is water. So if you just go uses on a reactor, coolant, water, it's the only coolant I know of. There might be more. I have no idea. And then solid coolants. Here's all the things you can use. Uh, dry ice, I believe is the best. So that's what we're going to use. It cools it the most. I'm not sure if that matters. I really honestly do not know, but, uh, Water, we're going to handle with a sink. Um, Multi-block kitchen. Oh, I don't care about that. So we're going to handle water with a sink. Uh, multiple reactors will probably share a sink. I'm not sure how far we're going to have them apart from each other. But uh, we'll figure that out. Figure that out. I was thinking three. Uh, we might do one block. So it's like boom, boom, boom. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll get this one set up. Um, I guess it depends on the setup. So what we need is we need to get some cable to these. I'm not sure if it matters where you put stuff in. That's what I was going to test. So if I do an export bus right there, and then I forgot to test this, so we're testing it live. And then I put dry ice. Will it put dry ice in here? It will. Okay, cool. And then... I guess we should do that and then actually I'm sure we can do this right and then we need redstone coal oh and also we're gonna put acceleration in these obviously I forgot about that and then one last one and this should be uranite so there we go all right cool now, I have zero idea whether these blow up or not. Um, 
Oh, I forgot to do water. We need to do water real quick. Uh, yep. Um, we need fluid ducks. We do not have enough. Okay. Can we make some of these real quick? Yep. All right. Uh, I might change this around once we get it all set up. I have no idea. Uh, I'm just trying to give you guys a general idea. Okay, there you go. And now it's making power. Just like that. It's generating 115. Okay, so it's slowly going up. So let's get a plug. Don't I have one? No. Uh, let's go. Flux. Plug. Probably don't have the stuff to make it. Okay. Alright, so we'll get a plug. And like I said, this will probably be changed up. But uh, basically, we'll do that. Power into matrix. Two million. Okay, that's how many it can put out at a time. So now, there we are. We're making 200. And what is that? 238,000 RF. If anyone knows uh, why it's not making 250,000, it's only making like 236, let me know because I'm not sure. Uh, maybe there's other fluids you can put in here. I really do not know. Um, I can look it up, but I haven't done that. But uh, what is this? Uh, reactor will stop when it's full and start when it has less than 70% energy. Yes, we want it on auto. Okay, so there's one reactor. I'm going to set up the other five, uh, you know, off camera. There's no sense in making you guys watch that. So I'm real quick going to do that. And then for anyone who knows what these four items do, we'll be back for that. But uh, real quick, I'm going to do the other five, come back and show you it, and then we'll go take on that Snow Queen. Okay, guys, I'm back. Whoop. And uh, I've finished setting up all the um, reactors, and we have them um, exporting into them. And remember, we're keeping the dry ice with that. So they're all making somewhere around 220 to 240 uh, RF, 100,000 RF a tick. Yep, yep. We'll get the numbers. So uh, if we go over to our induction matrix, oh, and also they all have their own, um, we get behind them, they all have their own flux plugs. I uh, don't know if that's necessarily necessary, but uh, we doing it anyway. Um, so we're just going to go check the system over here. And we'll see how much power we're currently making. It should be somewhere, hello? It should be somewhere over a million. Still getting used to my angel ring. Uh, so we are making 1.53 million a tick. That's pretty good. Pretty good. 1.52. Uh, I'm not sure how much is still coming from the, uh, the ethylene, uh, you know, watermelon setup, but, uh, it's, it was like a hundred thousand because of the lack of melons. So we're uh, already back up to 101. I think the G stands for billion. So we're doing good. Um, we'll probably be able to finish crafting the rest of the alloy blocks that we need for the uh, star. I think we had about a hundred left that we needed. I had looked how many I needed and I uh, was gonna write it down and I never did, but we need 18 in all these stacks. So I'll have to do the math again. I know we have somewhere around, okay, so we have 309. So we need probably about a hundred more. Anyway, um, that is our power for now sorted. Uh, we will eventually get to the, oh, there's so many new chapters by the way. But we will eventually get to the mechanism reactor. It makes, uh, it tells us how much it makes somewhere in basic, basic, whoa, uh -oh, basic powers. Uh, it makes 200 million a tick. So we'll eventually get to that. And that is what this chapter is. But you don't unlock this chapter until you finish this stuff. So we'll do that at some point. But, um, for now, we're going to move into the second part of this episode, and we're going to continue our little lawn base we got going out here because lawn base for life. And we are going to get this stuff, and we are going to go to the Twilight Forest. Now, uh, if you are playing this plaque at home by yourself, there is a little uh, chapter down here under exploration called Twilight Forest, and it tells you what to do right here. But basically what you do is you make a water pool like this, you put flowers all the way around it. I hope Batania flowers work. I do not know. And I do not know if you need the corners. And then you throw a diamond in. Yup. And it lightning strikes you like that. All right. Uh, a whole bunch of... And a head. 
Um, oh, well, let's get put this with our player heads, I guess. Uh, where is old dude's head? Bop. Oh. Hold up. This is necessary. Boom, boom. I don't know if that's like, uh, developers of the pack. Um, it doesn't look like it. This dude has a YouTube channel. If you want to know more about the mod pack. So if we come back to Twilight Forest, it probably tells us a bunch of stuff now that we can do. But we, me personally, do not care about most of this stuff. I just want to go get the Queen Trophy. So defeating the Alpha Yeti unlocks the Glacier Biome. Here you'll find cute little penguins and a Snow Queen on top of the Aura Palace. The Snow Queen will summon Ice Crystals to protect herself. She also slam, she'll also slam Ice Rocks down that destroy the map. Okay, so apparently... Wait, hold up. After defeating the Urgast, you'll unlock the Snowy Forest Biomes. After defeating the Alpha Yeti. What in the world? Okay. So apparently, we have to do this in order, I guess. Um, let me see. First boss in the Twilight Fortune will be the within the courtyard. Killing the Naga will grant entry to the next boss, the Lich. Okay. Okay, so we'll go uh, into this, and we should be A-OK -okay to, like, health-wise and stuff. So let's go. Um, we'll try to kill the Lich. This Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's going to load. Yep. Okay. So let's start by first. Uh, what is the waypoint button? This uh, portal out. We should be able to just slash home. But, uh. Just in case we can't. All right. So what in the world? Oh, oh my. I do not like that. Why can I not see the snow until I get into the biome? What is this? This is going to look so great on YouTube compression. <laughs> All right. Let's go find what we need. Biome locked. Check your advancement. What biome is locked? The snow biome? Okay, so I know we need to go find a the Naga thing. So I'll do that, and then I'll come right back. Okay, I literally flew like two more seconds. Oh, that's not what I want to do. We were like right here when I stopped recording, and the, I'm pretty sure this is the guardian, the garden that we need. So we'll just rock up in here. Yup, there they are. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Bro, bro. You're making this hard, bro. I'm trying to kill you. Probably wouldn't have hurt to make a ranged weapon. Get out of here, brother. All right, what did we get? The science, hunt some of the local wildlife. Okay, so we killed the Naga. What did they drop for us? Anything cool? Not really. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, do all the mobs in this biome drop chests or drop stuff from chests? I don't need any of this stuff. Uh, I don't really care about the shaders. Okay. So that should complete the first one for us. Bam, bam. The signs of the Twilight Forest. There are a bunch of entities discovered. One of the worst is the Kato. Oh, I remember those. Killing any Twilight Forest mob will work. Okay. So next. Within his tower, a lich of great power lives here. It is a three-phase fight, but only one phase is unique. Phase one, the lich surrounds himself in shields and attacks you with ender pearls that shoot out like gas fireballs. Reflect these back to the lich to break his shield. As he sh uh, shields break, he'll send out duplicates to distract you. The lich switches scepters to summon zombies to help him in the fight. With his defenses down, you will be able to melee him. Once all the charges are spent on his scepter, he will switch to gold... A golden sword and go berserk. Kill him fast. Gotcha. So we need to go to the tower now, it appears. I think it's that tower. Which way is that? Uh, the, the, this way? Yes, okay. So I'll fly over here. Um, I think this is going to... If this is this tower, this is probably just going to be the last boss fight of this video. And this will have to be a two-parter. So, uh... Let's, we'll find out. Um, can I just go up in here? If this is this tower? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, let's go rock and roll, baby. 
Oh, I gotta... Yeah, I gotta deflect the, these pearls back, right? Brother. Why are there more than one? What is this? Why are there so many? Oh, those are fake ones. Okay. I, did, I read... Bro, you gonna throw your inner pearl? Brother. Shoot it at me, brother. Come on, brother. Oh, I am not good at this right now. I'm assuming we... I'm assuming you hit it back like a gas pearl, right? What the heck? Oh, okay. Come on now, boy. Come on now. Get <laughs> right, brother. Bring it at me. Oh, wow. That one was scary. Come on. No, shoot it at me, brother. Shoot it at me. I have no idea how I'm doing. Oh, he only has two shields left. Brother, that one went random. Come on. Get right. All right, one more shield, one more shield. Am I taking damage? Oh, I am taking a good amount of damage, actually. Good thing we have, like, a million hearts. Not really. We have... A good All right. Where's he at? Where's he at? Come on. Why are they doing that, dude? I'm trying to... Why are they in the world? Was it that easy? No way. No way, brother. Game's too easy. Uh, Alright, anything that we got that's random that we just want to put in here? I don't want. Uh, we'll keep the rest of the stuff. So we have a head. We don't need that, 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 that. What does this do? I'm not sure what that does, but we'll keep it. Alright, get out of here. Do we really just like... Two shot that dude or three shot that dude. That's funny. We didn't even get to the last phase. Anyway, sadly, that is going to have to be the end of this episode. Uh, we're a little deep in. Took a little longer than I thought we were going to take to do the, um, was it called the power stuff? But now we know what we're going to do next episode. Next episode, we'll obviously come back and we'll finish absolutely wreaking havoc on this dimension. What did we get? Charm of Keeping? Well, I don't know what that does, but I'm, I'm sure it's really great. All right. So next episode, we'll continue down this quest line. Remember, we're trying to get to the Witch Queen so that we can capture her and use some Drigmies on her. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more. We'll be back next episode in the Twilight Forest going crazy. Uh, and until then, take it easy.